It's working. Is it working, gang? <laughs> Looks like it. Oh, now, 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 now. Where's my chat? There it is. Alright, we're going to resume in just a second. My glasses are a bit dirty. They're a bit smudged. I don't like that. This menu theme is very good. There we go. Resume expedition. How do I uh, know if I'm even close to beating the game, by the way? I wonder if there's like some kind of tab that I can open that shows me like how how much of a percentage is done of the game. All right. Should I tell anyone else about my dying experiences? Is anyone gonna believe me? What if I tell my boy Hal? The guy at the observatory. Hey Micah. Hey, it's you. Says that you're passing off your ship. I'm really excited to see the launch. I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Yeah, we recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Wanna give it a test drive? Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you got. Oh, we said it. Hold on. No, see, I did it. I, oh, this is hard. Hold on. Fly upright. Um. <laughs> oh, this is scary. Bro. What? Oh. <laughs> I'd say that's a job well done. What do you think? What a landing. I guess why Slate that's why Slate lets you fly the real thing, huh? Yes. Alright, I wanna go find Hal. I wanna like ask him. I want to see if I can like tell him about my dying experience. Alright, uh, maybe, maybe. That was me. Hey, Will Seeger, how's it going? Don't mind me. Just farting. Oh, hold on, I also didn't play these guys this game. Uh, it's with the radio. I'm going to play out and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow the signal globe because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey can we use your signal globe? Yeah, let's play. Woohoo! Well, here are the rules. Intruder farted in your home. <laughs> Somebody broke in and fought it. Here are the rules. Garlina, Galena and me, Garlic, I uh, will hide with these radios and you use your signal scope to find us. That's one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. One. Uh, 
I right, look up there. Damn! Oh, wait a minute. Check this out. Yeah! Hello? Found ya! Oh, you found me, but my evidence spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? Yes. Epic. Epic hide and seek. Let's go. Woo! Dude, I am a god at this. Hello. I I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. You're welcome, Galena. Oh, ah, ah. I'm fun. Hey, Marl. All right, where's Hal? Uh, well, Seeker, how are you doing? What are you What are you up to? What are you doing? Editing Editing the next uh, the next video for YouTube. I hope. Editing your biopic, starring Daniel Radcliffe as you. Edit new vid, nice. You know how... <laughs> I feel like we should start a new like thing. You know how when, you know, Chris Pratt was like announced as a voice actor for some shit, everyone was like, oh dude, Chris Pratt is voice acting everything. Like, what the fuck? I feel like uh, we should also make it so that Daniel Radcliffe is playing everyone in every like biopic. He's every every person. He's going to be Weird Al Yankovic in like a Weird Al biopic. But he should play like every single person in a biopic and he can be like that guy. You know? I feel like that should be a thing. Wait, who's over here? What the fuck is this? Hornfells? Hey, look at this. The statue opens its eyes. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? Sigh, me too. Not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with this statue. Is there something you needed? Where are the other travelers? Well, let's see. Chirdis on the Hourglass Twins. Rebecca's on the little Brittle Hollow. Gabbro's on Giant Steep. There's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are or if they're even still alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. He's still alive, I know it. Tell me more about Feldspar. Um, he can be like Bill Gates, he can be Phil Spencer. That's what I'm saying. He can be he can be Bobby Kotick. No, I'm sorry. Feldspar was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach, uh, Gosan Slate, the engineer, and me. As ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Leighton Gosan did. I can tell you, I can tell you that Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared them. Test piloted everything. Slate ever, Slate ever built. It's a f wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored uh, anything they could find. And then one day, they just didn't, didn't, didn't come back. We don't know what happened, or where Feldspar went, or even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. Thank you, Hornfels. I know where he is. What about a biopic about me? What, what would that entail? Hey, I was just about to come find you. Look, look, look. You gotta see this. The Nomai statue's eyes are open. They uh, used to be closed. Probably should have started with that. And now they're opened. We're not sure why they opened, since no one actually saw it happen. But this is, a, this is huge news. No one saw it happen? You sure about that? Should someone tell Gabro or maybe Reback? Oh, stars. This is exciting. It's making my stomach hurt. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, they don't know they don't know that I know that I am the one that saw the statue open their eyes and I am also the one that has seen the world explode well, so have you seen this game? do you know anything about it? it's uh, by Annapurna Interactive these um, I like them I, I really like Annapurna they, they, they make these very fun or not always fun but more like what, you, what do you say? Like, um, they're very sort of endearing and interesting uh, sort of like indie games about all kinds of sh stuff. And this one is about like uh, alien. Well, this, we are, we're, pre we're pretty much earthlings. Like this is basically like a little metaphor for earthlings. But these are like, we're, we're like these aliens that live on hearth instead of earth. We're living on hearth. And... Um, we're just now like traveling to space and all that. We're, we we figured out, oh, well, not just now, but like, um, yeah. We well, my character is traveling to space for the first time, and it's the first time that this colony, this uh, 
these people are moving are going to um, space with a translator to translate an alien language that they found. And so my job is to go out there and find all these alien things. However, that thing right there is the sun. Uh, I, it explodes. Kennedy was assassinated. Oh, uh, the sun explodes every like what 15 minutes maybe or something. And so I got to like hurry the fuck up to like go and find as much information I can before I die. Kennedy was assassinated. Stop the stream. He's been hit. I have to like, I have to like, um, uh, what is that thing around the sun? I have to like basically find as much information about everything I can before the sun explodes. Yeah. Groundhog day. And that statue that I was looking at inside that little, um, Inside that little thing, that's like, uh, what is that? I want to look at that. Uh, oh, hold on, it's going to come back around. Um, nope. It's, uh, it like, it's created by the aliens to, I guess, preserve your memories. And so every time I die, I go back to a, another memory. And then I have to relive this again. Uh oh, well, I flew into the sun. <laughs> Just crash into the sun, ended. I wanna, I wanna try and land on that platform. It's like a little alien ship, I guess, flying around there. <laughs> I just flew right into the sun. So, that, so basically, every time I die, though, I retain my memory of the last life I had, and maybe I can stop the sun from exploding. Maybe. I don't know what I'm doing. Look at that. Every day that happens. This probe, <laughs> a probe, uh, shoots a little missile uh, onto Earth. But it's it's trying to look for the eye of the universe. But yeah, this is basically Groundhog Day. But I mean, that's not bad, you know. Groundhog Day is a fucking epic movie. Uh, hold on. I kind of want to look at one thing. New stuff. Uh, nope, not what I meant to do. <laughs> Dorito! Wait, what? Oh, here we go. There's more to explore here. The probe was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage is detected in multiple modules. Maybe I can fix it? The probe tracking module is receiving data from the launch probe. Okay, okay. I might be able to fix the... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I remember now. Last stream I did of this, I um, I died right before I got like all of the info, and then I had to end the stream because I had to go to sleep. So let's go there again. Where is the deep? The something something deep. What was it called again? Uh... Deep Rock Galactic, no. Where'd it go? Wait! That's the twins, that's not the one. Okay, I thought that was the spaceship that like... Disappears. Or the planet, I mean. There it is. Autopilot on. What is that next to it? I don't know what that is. I don't know what I'm flying to. It's 12 kilometers away, though. What is this? Is that the fucking rock that, like, disappeared when I was looking for it? It might be. My, my computer is not telling me what it is, at least. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Wait. Fuck. Go to it. Go to that fucking planet. I took pictures of it. You're not going anywhere, buddy. 
I have a camera on you. I got a camera on you, bitch. Look at this thing. What's the deal with this? If I touch it, it just disappears. Okay. Alright. I see how it is. Oh, wrong button. Alright. Put this away. Ah, oh, it's so hard to fucking fly in this. Velocity matched. Oh god. Please just land. <laughs> There we go. Remember to put our spacesuit on before we head in. Now. Okay, so we didn't get all the information from here last time, so I'm going to try and uh, do that now. Which place was it again? Was it in here? So we are right now inside the probe that I, that like explodes every time, uh, every time there's a new day. Uh oh, here we are. Okay. There was like some messages in here that I didn't translate off. What were they again? Let's look at them. Uh, open up. Here we go. Four minutes, 33 seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. All right. And this one was like a warning that it shot the thing. Look. Oof, and shift is fucking busted. Begin launch log, orbital probe cannon launch request received, probe launch successful. Probe tracking module receiving data from the probe. Warning, orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch, damage to multiple modules detected. Oh no, oh no, and then I haven't seen this picture, what is it gonna be? Okay. It's like where I am, basically. Oh, this is not what I want to- ah, I'm being kidnapped! Whee! Alright, what is this? Orbital probe cannon damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing ass. Assessing damage to modules. Control module intact. No structural damage. Launch module viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module missing. Shit. Well, now we know. Now we know what happened in here. Somebody... Uh, actually launched the probe. And we don't know who did it. <laughs> I was It wasn't me. It wasn't me, I didn't know it. But it was definitely Barack Obama. We know that for a fact. That's just the facts, boys. Whoa. Now, my fellow Americans, I, 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 shut the, what the fuck is that voice? All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Woo. New log. Now we got some info right here. Nope. The control module recently received a request from the Ash Twin Project to launch the probe. The cannon was aligned with a randomly selected probe trajectory. And now my computer reports the probe tracking module is missing. Sheesh. Sheesh. Anything else new that I haven't read? No. Okay. Let's um review the jetpack, put the suit away. Woo! Um I don't remember if there was anything else for me to do on the deep right now because I, I don't know how to get through the fucking I don't know how to get through the thing. The the waves. What is all this? 
Sup, bro? What's up, soldiers? What is this? What is all this over here? What is that? Oh, is that a black hole? The fuck is this? Like, mod band. <laughs> Took my third shot, so I'm feverish and dazed and confused. Which one did you get? You got Pfizer, right? Can I stop? It's not letting me stop. Align that shit. Go to the interloper. He got Windows 11. Damn! Woo! Lucky. Alright, hold on. Abort autopilot. I wanna... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I guess this is engage it again. The interloper. Let's try landing on here. Ow. I don't know if we're gonna stick to it, because I doubt there's gonna be any, like, gravity. Or, like, there's, there's gravity, but, like, uh, no, it's okay. It's it's holding. It's enough to hold me down. Now, what is that? What in the hell? Pfizer, yeah, they don't let you guys our age get Moderna now that it's been known to cause heart issues. Age 67. <laughs> is there anything on this planet? Or on this um, a uh, comet, I mean? Doesn't seem like it. Maybe there's no point in being here. Still wanna look. Oh fuck, oh shit, oh god. <laughs> Slide off the ice into deep space and I, there's nothing I can do. All right. This is the interloper. I don't know much about it. I guess there's nothing I can really do with that. Whee. Anything in these? Nuts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything in these nuts. <laughs> Dude, I'm not sorry. Fuck you. Whee. Get back to our ship. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This game is so cool. I like the... I like the... Characters. The controls, the writing. Pretty good. What is this thing? Is that what... It hits like the sun and starts the explosion maybe? No, that's Brittle Hollow. No, no, no. Where's that like explosive thing? Or that like black hole that I flew past? Or did it not go this way? I don't fucking know, maybe... Hollow's Lantern? What is that? Try and land on that. Oh, I'm going past it, help! Here we go. We'll go to Brittle Hollow in just a second. I want to see if there's anything for me to look at on this isle, or, or in this tiny little lava planet. Hollow's Lantern. Can I, like, go inside these volcanoes or something? Should I try and land in the lava? <laughs> I'd probably just die, so maybe not. Maybe not do that. Hello? Whoa, dude. Don't jump into lava, maybe. Hi oh, oh, oh. Hi Hello? I'm very curious. Is there anything, like, in here? Oh, there is. Oh, oh, oh. <whistles> Scary. Okay. Why the fuck did they build shit in here? What's wrong with these aliens? 
Oh. All right, translate time. Increase, uh, warning, increase solar activity detected. Warning, increase volcanic activity detected. Warn, uh, verdict, location is now inhospitable. Evacuation recommended. Oh, okay. So they were living here before it turned into a, whatever this is. Timber hearth, projection stone. Wait, that's where I'm from. I'm from Timber hearth. Root. Friends in the Timber Hearth mines, the last type of ore you sent to survives the longest in direct heat. Root. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability, and our forge is already burnt through everything you sent. Oh, oh no. Uh, we'll deliver more ore to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the Ashtwin Project's protective shell. Root. My gratitude. I imagine we'll also have uh, an updated estimate soon of how much ore is needed to seal off the Ash Twin project. Oh no, uh, will it be more than we initially thought? Root, it will be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Root, yes, the idea of an encasement, that's uh, supernova proof. However, briefly was kindled, uh, has kindled my uh, curiosity. Ooh, okay, so they were working on making something that to protect, I guess, their planet from a supernova? I need that. I definitely need that. Yeah, I've been here. I've been in that area. Is there another projection stone in here somewhere? I don't think so. It didn't look like it. All right, all right, all right. Uh, how do I get out? <laughs> ha! Uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. No, no, no. All right, time to check the other volcanoes. Anything in here? Holy fucking shit. Oh, it does not look like it. Oh shit, is my ship fucking flying off into space without me? Wait, come back. Woo! Massively done. All right. Well, we just found that out. So, the sun's about to supernova, but these aliens that we're like spying on pretty much, they were working on uh, something to protect themselves from a supernova. Okay, let's land right here, because I feel like... Yeah, there's a spaceship right here, so one of my own is here. One of my own dudes. One of my own boys. Stuck with him or her. Hello? What the fuck just happened? What? Alright. I don't know what that was. Hello? Whose spaceship is this? Who's on here again? What's going on? All right. Are you down here? Hello? I recorded. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, and that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would uh, have... Uh, would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door's broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I should have found a different entrance by now if there were one. P probably. Can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try and find a way down. Damn. Alright. There's a door that I cannot access. <laughs> Why not? Why not? That is dumb. Look at Sean. I don't know how long until it explodes. I don't know how... I think it's like 15 minutes real time. 
Something like that. Alright, I think we should use our spaceship to fly around this island because um, it's broken. <laughs> it's fucking busted. Shit's got holes and, and stuff. Whoa. Let's look at the computer. Volcanic testing site. Boom. Or samples from the Nomai mines on Timber Earth were sent to this volcano for durability testing. The Nomai were trying to craft a briefly supernova proof shell to encase the Ash Twin project. Uh, even the smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Damn. Sucks to suck, I guess. Uh oh. I know what that was. Look at that. Look at it. Right? Did I not hear it fucking start exploding? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just crazy, dude. Oh, bum bum. I need to go to the twin planet soon. Uh, go back to Brittle Hollow then. Or the. Uh, no, 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 yeah, Brittle Hollow. What is this? What am I looking at right here? Some sort of structure. <laughs> Who turns on landing mode? Am I right, guys? Only a cup. Only a couple of plebes would do that. Um, what is this? Where's this tree? Anything around that? Fuck was that sound? Um, I don't know. Hehe. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. I definitely need to like come back here later. Brittle hollow plate. Protection stone. Projection stone. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. All right. Neat. A little parkour thing, it seems. Is this different, or is it going to be the same? Oh wait, no, 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 this is the text, not the... Solonym, I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Bells, that's exciting. You're almost ready. Wait, the quantum moon? That's the thing I was at that, like, kept disappearing. But there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I've been there. The tower is on the opposite side of Birtle Hollow. If you follow the path west of the crossroads, you can reach the tower from here. Oh, wait. If it's on the opposite side of Birtle Hollow, then I haven't been there. My gratitude for the directions, Bells. I'll see you soon. All right. Sec. What are these things? What are all these fucking things, man? Fuck, dude. Fuck. Oh. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, shh, shh. What the fuck was that? Jesus, you scared me. Whoa. Hello. Um, what is down here? Um, the crossroads, west 350. Woo. Turn on flashlight. What's going on down here? What's going on down here, Bridlala? What's all this? What's all this then? Bloody fucking hell, they really built a bunch of shit in this planet that's just like breaking apart. <laughs> Why'd they do that? Why would they do that? Oh yeah, I'd love to live in, in a volcano and also on a planet that like is falling apart. Let's go. Fucking what the fuck? Is this what that sound is every time? It's being like hit by 
Hey, it is. Uh oh. I got a feeling that the sun might be about to explode. Just, it's just me. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Go back the way I came. Bum, bum, bum. Oh! <laughs> I almost did not fucking use my boosters there. That would have been catastrophic. I want to go this way. What does it say? What does it say? The Southern Observatory, South. What is this? Oh, there's the sun. The fuck? The fuck? Damn. Were they like trying to make the probe here maybe? I don't know. This kind of looks like the the like probe spaceship, but like way bigger. But it's aiming at the sun. Why would you want to try and probe the sun? That's gonna explode. Uh, actually, it is spinning around. So hmm, the crossroads west 350. Okay, more text down here. We like that. The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Wait, what? Hold on. This is something cool. Call the shuttle home? What the fuck? Whoa! Uh oh, that's the sun about to explode. <laughs> Supernova? Oh, there it is. Don't do it! I'm not done exploring! No! No, 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 no! Ah! <laughs> Fuck, dude. Fuck. Well. <laughs> At least we saw the spaceship. <laughs> Also saw the quantum moon. Woohoo! Right? Or was that in a previous life? I don't remember. No, there it was. I seen it. Gulp. There goes the probe. Shooting in a different direction. Uh. Nah. Nothing new. No new dialogue with him. Bum 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 ba ba da ba dum bum 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 ba ba da ba dum bow 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 ba ba dum. Guys, what the fuck? All right, what's in here? Boom! Gravity cannon. Tower of quantum knowledge. A huge cylindrical structure that generates a strong upper gravity field. I recall a Nomai shuttle from the quantum moon. A gnome named Solanum was told to visit the Tower of Quantum Knowledge on Brittle Hollow's equator to learn one final rule before embarking on her pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. Oh, there's something in here that I didn't see. There's a door to the observatory on the surface, but it's broken. Yeah. Rebecca landed their ship near the big dome at the South Pole. The door leading inside was broken, so they decided to head north to the ruins on the equator in search of a way beneath the surface. They were on their way to, like, the... Fardium stop to the tower. It sounds like. Or like, uh, they probably didn't know it though. But there's a tower of knowledge. Whee! Whoa. And I still haven't found, oh, it's dark ramble. No, 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 that's not what I want. For Lalo. Still haven't found um, that guy, the harmonica guy. Wait, does Brittle Hollow start off 
like this? Or was it... Am I just on a different side of the planet? I don't know. What is this? Yeah, this is something I gotta see for myself. Boing. Suit up. I've made the mistake once of exiting my fucking spaceship without my spacesuit and just choking out in space. I will not be doing that again. Oh, what is this? Unidentified signal nearby? Trees detected, oxygen tank filled. Thatch, is everyone unharmed? Plume, no one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Uh, we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3. No, I, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods distress signals. However, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude, if you can. Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone embrace yourself swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We're certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. What is this thing? Ah, so I can find the escape pods by listening to their distress signals. Oh. There seems to be one on the twins and... Oh. Somewhere else. There has to be three, right? Wait. Okay, I don't know what planet that is. I'm assuming maybe possibly... Wait, I can go in here. I'm assuming maybe possibly that's um, the deep. The, like an ocean planet underneath the surface. Oh, can't go in here. This is a neat little escape pod. Okay, begin flight log. Escape pod 1 vessel has been mor mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Launch Launching escape pod 3. Launching escape pod 2. Now launching escape pod 1. Alert collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Whoa, Peaches, thank you for the host. Yo, what up? Collision Im uh, imminent. Prepare for impact. Scanning external environment, scan complete, minor structural instabilities detected, pockets of breathable air detected, woohoo, adequate solar energy detected, verdict, hospitable. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. It is not. What does it say? Emergency escape hatch? Wow, 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 wow. Destroy ship, oh my god. Whoops, and I just broke their, um, <laughs> broke their little, uh, path down. That's fine. That's okay. I'm sure they won't miss it. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I'm sure no one will notice. Shit's fucking breaking right underneath my feet. This is not structurally sound, guys. I'm reporting someone for this. Plume, use caution. A block, uh, a black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Oh, fuck. They, that is what that is. Jesus. I just get hit by a fucking... <laughs> Destroy ship. I almost got hit by... Um... An asteroid. Oh, uh, wee! Uh oh. Oh, hey! This is scary, guys. Oh. Uh, how you doing, Peaches? Whoa, 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 whoa. This game is so cool. I like it. Oh, more text. More alien speak. I'm good. How about you? I'm doing pretty fine. Thank you for asking. Plume of note, be sure not to wander far from here, though this area is somewhat unstable. It's safer than any we've found so far. Uh, Plume, the temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Yeah, and maybe also your stupid, unsturdy platforms. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh. Okay, is this made out of wood at all? What's this? What's this? What the fuck? Oh, I know what that is. 
Plume, given con concerns about our settlement stability, uh, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? Thatch, we need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. Uh, I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. Oh, that's so sad. What? Plume, I agree. We're here because the eye signal called up to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. Thatch, this is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. Plume, I believe we should migrate to the northern great glacier. Uh, Felix, what if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Thatch, building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. Okay. Well, I can see um, where they made the fucking crystal path. <laughs> Check it out. Now we're upside down. I fucking love this. This is such a cool mechanic. Um, hold on. Let me let me finish exploring around here, though, because there was like more text, I think, to read down this way. Oh, wait, there's like a door. Oh, <gasps> they're out of the universe. Hello. This is sick. It's slow, but very ambient. Yeah, it's like, um, I don't know if you heard of the term like walking simulator. A lot of games uh, get coined that term when, when they like, well, there's no real like gameplay pretty much. It's just like you exploring and finding out stuff. So yeah, and it's, um, I like them, you know. Thatch, this knowledge is too dear to lose. Here's everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard ve the vessel. Felix, the signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. Felix, the signal is older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. Plume, no no, my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Thatch, imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. This is like the god. Gotta pray to the eye. Woo! Ship log updated. <laughs> I wish my shit log got updated. Updated. Fuck. Fuck. Whatever. <laughs> I said it all wrong. Right, what is this? Thatch. Is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost, or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, Aunt Melloray. Oh shit, is that someone who died? Sorry, Thatch. <laughs> Hello? This is like... <laughs> this is like a little apartment like complex over here. They had have, they have built all these apartments here, and I, I wonder how much they were charging for this shit, huh? Oh yeah, this uh, this apartment right here, you can uh, you can rent it uh, for like um uh, how how about six hundred a month? How about six hundred a month? You like that? <laughs> Fuck no! <laughs> what? Look out! Look out below! Look out for the gravity hole! For shit you slip and lose your grip, then into space you go. Thank you, Elex. That's epic. Little poem. Three k a month. <laughs> oh boy. Holy shit, am I falling down? Wait, what the fuck? Oh! What the fuck happened? Oh, it's connected to this black hole that I found earlier. So if you go in there, I go back here, but I'm gonna like run out of fuel and oxygen. I don't have my spaceship. Can I go back in? Put me back. <laughs> Put me, you died me. No, 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 I'm not dead yet. I refuse to die. Put me back. <laughs> no. Well, I think I'm fucked. <laughs> my ship is 30 kilometers away. Oh, no. Wait, what is this? The fuck is this thing? Ow. I crashed into it. I haven't seen this. Hello? This is new. This is new, no, 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 no. Someone's spaceship is here. Trees detected? Oh, thank God we've got more oxygen. We're not gonna get more fuel, though. What is all this? 
Oh. Ooh. Uh, Ember Twin Projection Stone. Put that in somewhere. Poke. <laughs> the streamer? Welcome to the White Hole, uh, White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry. You weren't. You aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brutal Hollow. Oh, no way. Poke. Every warp tower is turned to a specific astral body. A tower, uh, tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. In this case, Brutal Hollow. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor uh, during this alignment to be warped. Okay. I see. What's down here? What's this? What's this all about? Ah, uh, ooh. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, am I, am I aiming the thing? Maybe. Whoa, dude. Where do I put this stone? Is there like a place for me to read this? Not so sure about that. Quote, I can't stop eating my nipples. You, you really didn't have to expose me like that. <laughs> All right. What the fuck was that? I'm assuming I need to like teleport out of this place with the um with the stone to be able to read like whatever whatever it's gonna show. I don't even remember this. The hack dude. Sure you do. You remember all of them. Your little your little babies. Your favorite little. Little quotes. Hold on. When is it aligned? I don't actually understand. Uh. Oh, it shows right there. Okay. Silly me. There's literally a little graph for dummies like me. Do I have to do anything? Or does it just immediately warp me once it aligns? Uh. Uh. Whoa! Holy fucking shit. That is... Okay, now I know what these things are. Foxley, I'm going to fucking eat your hand up with you and eating body parts. What can I say? I'm a cannibal. Um. Damn. Translator? Oh, didn't mean to do that. I didn't... I didn't know what, like, these things were. Now I know they're little warp points. Departure time, 629... 23806 arrival time yeah return warp state is charged step onto warp receiver platform to activate return warp okay i see can i read this cannibal <gasps> no the hanging city below uh 50 meters the fuck is this Where can I look at this movie? Where, uh, does anybody have a CD drive? Does anybody still have a DVD drive or something? Like, where can I watch this movie? I, I really want to watch this movie. Does anybody have that? All right. Clary, uh, to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just walked here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. Poke, I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Kasava, I hope you're reading this. Pub, wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate ca uh, ca uh, causality. Causality? Huh? Uh, excuse me, there must be an equipment error somewhere. Poke, I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run up full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Pope, don't tell Kasava. No, and I can take the scroll. Uh, Felix, this is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Whoop. Stealing this. Alright. What can I say? I'm a cannibal nice. Apparently the best return for this game is eight minutes. Holy shit. I love using Mac computers and I hate Windows. I did not say that! I got this from an alternate dimension. Well, I just said it now, I guess. Because fucking everyone... 
Everyone keeps doing that. Everyone keeps adding quotes and then like going, oh, you just said it, you just said it. Let's see what this is. This is for the Ember Twin. Oh, whoa. Cactus. All right. Put this in here. What do you have for me? Read this little diary. Hi. Raimi and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Nomai ar arriving at the warp receiver on Virtual Hollow slightly before departing from the Whitehole station. I understand it, it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly 100 thousand of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time such as, to such a small degree? Wait. Am I, am I like teleporting before myself? Where do, where, wait, is this a fucking prestige situation? Where did, where's my original copy? Did I just get like teleported? <laughs> and, 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 like did my dead corpse just get, get dumped into a forest somewhere? Pi, as I've already told Raimi, these measurements can't be accurate. Now, how can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. I don't disagree. It would mean I've in inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. Poke, as Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate, she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. Pi, an update. Poke, the High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once, you need to see this. Damn. I don't do that. That is cheating. I got a mind capable of splitting. No way. Alright, well. Now we know something about this planet. They got a little emergency scout recall activated. Oh, did I leave my scout somewhere? Probably. Whoops. <laughs> it's just out somewhere taking pictures. So... We now know that they were experimenting with warping and teleporting people through a little... Oh, we feel jetpack, thank you. Um, however, they must have fucked up somewhere. And so, yeah, I don't know, Feldspar spare jet jetpack fuel. Oh, thank you, Feldspar. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. Checked with my little scout, I do... I do too use it. Horn fellas, you have burnt marshmallow. And the scout's integrity reading said the piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any, but who knows? If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you got bigger problems. I sure do. I don't have my ship right now. Though it is on this planet, I think. Okay. Can I shoot a camera in here? Absolutely not. That is not what I wanted. Eh. Damn it. <laughs> nice emote wall seeker. Where'd you get him? What is this? Oh. Oh. Well, asteroid just crashed into us. Into this planet. What is this? Whoop! Thatch. No, wait. Felix, has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. Uh. Well, I've been there, and it keeps disappearing. Thatch, I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Plume. Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. Plume. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend Hollow's Lantern? This moon isn't volcanic, to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its, friend's hollow, uh, it leaves its friend Hollow's Lantern for nights at a time. Plume, the nights, at the, mo uh, the nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Okay. Imagine if there are two volcanic moons. Plume, then I imagine there'd be none of us left. Felix, hypothesis, there can exist too much lava. Thatch, I strongly prefer that we test the uh, null hypothesis. <laughs> Emote store. Damn. Shit, shit log. My shit logs keep updating, guys. Man, that's gonna fucking hurt when I go to the bathroom next time. <laughs> Alright. This place is great. So much information I'm learning. Can't wait for the sun to implode. <laughs> Can't wait for the sun to supernova on me and everything goes to shit. Woohoo! That joke just gave me terminal ass pirates. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, I've been over here. This is literally where I was earlier. Let's see it down here. Is everything gone? Holy shit, it is. Everything I was standing on down there is just gone now. Except for that thing. Do you think we can make it there without being sucked in? Wait. Oh, 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 I'm gonna break my legs. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I was pressing the thruster button, but I think uh, I can't fly down this far, I guess. <laughs> no. I'm gonna wake up and just feel an immense thing in my legs. We need to go back to the civilization, though, before it gets ripped into the black hole, because um, there's, like, more stuff for me to read, I'm pretty sure. Uh -oh. Oh. Look at that go. I see you guy. This guy doesn't know that the sun explodes. Hey, look, check this out. That's the quantum moon. Shit just fucking comes and goes as it pleases. <laughs> All right, escape pod one, old settlement, northern settlement. White Hole Station, Northern Glacier, High Energy Lab, Quantum Moon. We just learned so much new stuff. <laughs> All right, hold on. Old Settlement. The Nomai constructed a temporary settlement beneath their crashed escape pod. The Nomai worked together to recall an eye-shaped signal they encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was somehow older than the universe itself. The Nomai decided to call it the Eye of the Universe. The Nomai abandoned the settlement over growing concerns about its stability. There's more to explore here. Uh, escape pod one. One of the three Nomai escape pods that crashed in our solar system, all three escape pods were launched from something called the Vessel, which was badly damaged. Northern Settlement. The Nomai decided to migrate from the old settlement to the Northern Glacier. They used gravity crystals to craft a stable path beneath the surface. All right, let's see. Quantum Moon. The Nomai on Brilla Hollow observed a quantum moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. Northern Glacier. No, the North Pole of Brittle Hollow is covered in snow and ice. There's a uniquely shaped Nomai ruin on the surface. The Nomai were able to warp here from the White Hole Station. This is where they first recreated warp technology, White Hole Station. Every Nomai uh, warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. To use the tower, you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. The alignment happens uh, when the astral body is directly overhead. The Nomai noticed something strange. Warp objects appeared at, uh, to arrive at the receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before they departed the White Hole Station. This negative time interval between an object arriving and departing was incredibly minuscule, roughly 100 thousandths of a second. The Nomai were skeptical if their equipment could even measure time to such a small degree. Wait, you rumor? The negative time interval measured at which uh, at the White Hole Station was further investigated at the High Energy Lab in the Canyon at Ember Twins Equator. I didn't know these were a thing. I have not been looking at these rumors at all. The Nomai and Burles Hollow fault, uh, observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. All right, whatever. Uh, the negative time interval measured at the White Hole Station was further investigated at the High Energy Lab. Oh, this is just the same thing. Oh, okay. Uh, what else? And when I looked at, there's more to explore there. We got to go back to that settlement, the one that just ex exploded and <laughs> warped me away. So let's go. Where, 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 where? Brutal Hollow. Where are you? There you are. I see ya. And get your autopilot. And I'm gonna drink. Gulp. Wait, hold on. I really want to do something. Now I gotta like do it later. Hold on. Just go back. I don't remember where the fuck did we go in. Oh yeah, we went in from like that escape pod. So we gotta like find that again. Isn't it just like right over there? No, wait. That's it, right? The one with the... The one with the blue, blue glowing light. Yeah, and here's the stairs down. Or the platform down. 
Boop. Hello. Wee. Whoa. Whoa. Scary. There's nothing else to this message right now. Bum bum ba dum bum bum ba dum ba dum. Oh my god. Freddy Fazbear's in here? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, let's go back down here and see what what we were missing. Because we didn't see everything. I didn't see this, for instance. Hello? You guys think there's any men in here? Like, do you think we can see any men in here? Like, do you think we can see men? Oh, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> What's over here? Uh, 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 this is the one with a little, little goodbye message to the guys. Uh, aunt, I think. No men here looking for seamen, eh? <laughs> looking for seamen, eh? They gotta be around here somewhere, eh? This place is slowly falling apart. I kind of want to like just be in and out as quick as I can. Is there anything down here that we didn't see earlier? Any men, you know, any see any men that we didn't see down here? Uh, I don't remember if we went in here. Oh, it might be a little a little too late for us. Let's see. Thatch, I can't understand. Why did the vessel, vessel crash in that place? Was the vessel unwell in some way? Says Plume. Felix, no. I know and I checked before the warp and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. Felix, we warped to follow that uh, curious signal from the eye of the universe. Uh, where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Uh, Thatch, suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel but with our destination. Felix, I'm afraid to our friends in Escape Pod 3. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Did you just say semen? No? Uh... I got all this. Wessel is stuck in... Some kind of plant. One pod went to the twins. One pa uh, pod went to... Oh, the, the... Dark Bramble, maybe? That might be it. I haven't been there. I haven't been to the Dark Bramble. Uh-oh, wait. I think that's the, that's the one that like, uh, has the poem and that's what like broke everything earlier. Let's not go in there just yet. <laughs> let's not, let's not break everything just yet. Hold on. What was over here? Is this where we came from? I don't, f I don't freaking remember guys. I don't freaking remember, but I haven't been in here. Oh, gulp. Come on. Gulp done. Woo. Uh, Kyosa, we can hear the other escape pods distress, distress signals, which gives me hope. Foley, are you still here? I am unsure about how to survive in this place without you. Kyosa, I am unsure how to be me without you. Oh. These poor people, they like lost all their friends. They, they're somewhere out in space. Um, floating around. Probably having so much fun, you know. Woohoo. Mistake. I didn't do nothing for me. Where are all the men, guys? I don't see any men over here. Like, what's going on? Oh, oh! Can we go any further up here? Nah. When does this break? When does everything fall apart? Is it just after I see that poem? Is that just like set to that? Oh, well. <laughs> It's fucked too soon. It's breaking now, I think. Uh, maybe. Something something exploded, at least. Oh, something I haven't seen, I think. Hello? Plume, my brother was in an escape pod 1 with us. Was he in pod 2 or pod 3? Was he able to board an escape pod at all? Plume, we sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot, I will not allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. Oh no. Tree detected. Sick. 
Dude, that's freaking sick, bro. Uh oh. Bum bum bum. Badadum badum bum. Hum. Is a real humdinger? Did I go in here ever? I'm not so sure about that. Guys, what the fuck? There's water on Mars. What is this? Oh, we did go down here, right? Yeah, we did. Bum 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 bum. Okay. I really think I should go up to their little upside down platform that they made. Can I fly from here? I don't know if I've seen everything here though. I have not the faintest idea if if I'm done looking at all their messages. Let's just say we have and go this way. No, I don't know the reach of these. If I walk out here, am I gonna fall? Am I gonna fall upside down? Oh, I sure as hell hope not. That'd be terrifying. There's a black hole right beneath me. Right above me. These seem to have good enough range. What, 5G? Can you hear it? Oh, dude, my skin's melting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, dude, oh. this is what 5G is made out of. This is what they're putting up in our world. The 5G towers. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> yeah, 5G, dude. Holy fuck, don't do that. Jesus. What about 6G? Uh, what? Now, now, hold on. Now, ho hold on. What you're saying is that uh, there's 6G? What the hell? Boy, you take that back, boy. What is all this? We're inside the... What, Northern Glacier? Wasn't that where they went? Or is this the Southern Glacier? I have no clue. <gasps> oh, Lord Almighty! I turned into Morty. <laughs> oh, Rick! Oh! oh, Rick, I'm gonna fall and die! <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> Alright, let's see this. Ooh, oh, wow. So this is their new place that this, they decided to live on. Uh-oh. There's ghost matter in here. Yep. I can't go in there. <laughs> More like ghost doesn't matter. <laughs> bop, bop. Fuck. Well, they're dead. Did that settlement already like fall? I don't even know. What is this? Do I wanna go up here? Eee. Oh, this is on the other side of where the ghost matter was? Oh, thank God for the tree. It is, the ghost matter was right here. That's nice. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty nice, guys. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. What is in here? What more ghost matter? No. She's telling me about the one that's beneath me. <laughs> is this a classroom? Did I just find a school? Pick up scroll. Oh, whoops. Drop it. We'll read this one first. Lamy, explanation of festivals. Lamy, all the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. Felix, don't forget, festivals happen every 10 years. Lamy, at some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance, too. Like a known as warp core, which made it so everyone can warp along, uh, warp long distances and explore more. Lamy, each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. Lamy, a single festival could last a long, long time. Lamy, we can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. Oh, pfft. well, that's sad. What does this one say? 
saw on him. Formation of this year of this like I put this in. Oh, what is this one? Translate the first thing, and it's just like this is my fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> erotic erotic literature uh oh so on the formation of the universe no one knows how this universe was made but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense uh tightly packed together to get to get her to get her also very hot and very dense this guy right here <laughs> at least the dense part all right so on them as, uh, as this early universe expanded it also cooled down once it had cooled down enough Particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. So, so um, since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. So um, this universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. So on um, that's scary to think about, even though uh, Conroy tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes, but it, it, it'll happen in someone else's someday. Yeesh. Harsh. Ow, I broke my neck. And now I die. Tree detected, let's go. Me when I walk around and I see a fucking tree. Tree detected. You know. What's down there? Whew. This is such a large area, my god. It's gonna take me a while to like find everything here. I've already been in here. So we'll go down. Uh oh. I don't know. Where's this ghost matter? It's over there. Darn tootin. Ghost matter detected nearby. Oh. Can I fly over it? <gasps> Oi! Sure can. That was dangerous. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I can swap which direction this is shooting. Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, I thought I was going up. <laughs> Danger ghost matter detected nearby. What? Oh, shit. St stuff's getting like sucked in here. Go back up. Ooh, wow, 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 wow. I need to go back to that classroom because now I got another thing to read. Whoa. Was it over here? No, 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 it was over here. This is gonna be some erotic fan fiction. Plomp it in. Plop it in. Let's see what it says. Come here. How does that even fit in there? That doesn't make any sense. Elex, why, uh, why we should build a new vessel. Elex, each Nomai clan explores the universe in its own vessel. The vessel is the heart of every clan. I, I, uh, it's unusual for a Nomai to remain in one place for so long. Nomai are wanderers and have no permanent home. If we built a new vessel, we could return to our adventurous way of life. Imagine all the new places we could go. Our clan could, wouldn't be stuck here on this star system. We could meet, uh, we could even meet with other Nomai and learn from them, like Coleus says we used to do. Elix, it probably wouldn't be hard to get parts if we stopped building other new things, and if we broke down other structures like the towers on Ash Twin for parts. We might have to build a smaller vessel for now, even though vessels are normally large, but we could make it bigger later once we reach planets with more resources. It would also help if we stopped building so many things to search for the eye of the universe. I asked Yarrow and he says we use lots of resources on the Ashtrin project. We could even have a warp core for jumping long distances like vessels have. Polk tells me she plans to make a very advanced warp core for a different project. I'm sure she could connect it to the vessel for travel because Polk is smart. Are they though? Like, Polk? Like, are they really though? Yeah, I don't know if there was anything else over there for me. I'd like to go back down here. Woo. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yep. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. 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 Mm, yep. Mm. You talking trash on Poke? No. Uh. <laughs> I love Poke. That shit's gonna fall and kill me. Hello, H. Grid, by the way. Welcome. Whoa, dude. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, I've seen this structure somewhere before. Uh, 2001, uh, September. That's all I gotta know. <laughs> well, something very different is gonna happen to this one. Uh, let's see what all this says. School District. Meltwater District. I Shrine District. Black Hole Forge District. The I Shrine District for their Apple products. Uh, what? Check this out. And we're walking on the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it say? Oh, can't look at that. I immediately forgot what all of them meant. <laughs> this one was that one. Meltwater. We're in the Meltwater district. Who's melting water and why? And what for? Black Hole Forge Controls. There's so much stuff to like read here and I feel like I'm going to die before I get to it all. I don't have anything to read here. The Ashwin project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we attain it? And nobody replied. <laughs> no Twitter followers. That's what that feels like. <laughs> he like tweets something and nobody replies. Nobody likes it. Nobody said anything. Solution. Oh, I didn't find solution one. Wait, where's that? I want to go with that first. If I can find it. Somebody did reply. This has got to be the first solution. Read it quick. Before the sun explodes. Solution one, right? Solution one. We could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. Raimi, the vessel's warp core is broken. At best, recall those percent when the vessel crashed said it sustained uh, lethal in uh, inquiries. Or injuries, sorry. There's no guaranteed reward for this risk. Conoy, perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Grandma? Kasava, even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we're able to transport it back here. Flox, this will excuse me, this will require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father, said uh, many good know my parish there. Damn. Seacat, my mentor, Coleus, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. Wait, what? My man said <laughs> Wessel. Anglerfish? What are you talking about? Raimi, I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play in Fossil Fish Cave when we were children. Uh, Collier's, what Melorai and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hip hypothesis has never was never tested on a live semen specimen. What? All right, next. Shit log. Poke, I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. Wait, oh, sorry, what did the solution say? We could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Okay. Spire, abandoning the vessel's warp, uh, vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. Knowledge. Midas, this is true. However, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be the best, it would be best to relearn, I think. Uh, Adaya, this is the safest path for our clan. Avens, it's the it's the safest path, the best one. Our goal is worth the risk. Kasava, is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. Oh no. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. Clary, no, but Pope was apprenticed to Anona, who created the original design and our black hole forge is adapting, uh, or, and our black hole forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. Pope, uh, I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's work core was created before my time, but Anona's explained many of this his, uh, of his designs to me. Damn. Okay. All right. So it seems everyone wants this solution too. Because I'm calling the iFake news. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Guys, what the fuck are we looking for God for? Like, what does this make any sense? Oops. The one atheist on the ship. Fucking what the fuck? Hello? Oh, okay. I kept getting stuck on like the... <laughs> kicking my toes into the um, little threshold there. Poke? 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 I feel strange. Trying to recreate and known as warp core without him. At times, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice. Apprentice, And for the black hole forge to be in my care and not his. Poke, hypothesis. This will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor and deeply. Poke, I have the chance to try... Uh, I To have the chance to try is thrilling, but... I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this? Probably. But what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Damn. Poke. Still, all I can give is my better, like, there, next to these, there's like little likes. Everyone's like liking these. Oh, nice Facebook post. All I can give is my best. And as Anona would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clarion Root in the Forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Poke. Was I wrong in volunteering, volunteering to build it? I was born in the star system and never saw Nona's warp core with my own three eyes. Haha, <laughs> 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 three eyed freak! I only know uh, what he taught me. What if I have bitten, bitten off a large important portion that I can consume? I think my people have like four or five or six eyes or something. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> my alien colony. What is this? Oh, wait. Whee. Is this what I think it is? Uh, yoink. Oh, wait, nope. I have no clue where this is. Where am I? Herthians have four eyes. <laughs> Ass is only proper. Of course, yeah. Three eyes? <laughs> what the hell? What were they thinking? Uh-oh. I don't know how long until the sun explodes. <laughs> What the fuck? Almost fell down here. Oh, this is just like an exit. I don't have to go around at all. I'm just leaving. Goodbye. Where am I? I think I've been over here. Yeah, I have. This is the... This is the place where I came out of like the... Warp thing, right? I think... Yeah, yeah, this is where they're talking about the Phantom Moon. Hey, son, don't explode, please, and thank you. Um, okay. Hmm. I don't know if I saw everything in that place yet. No, I didn't. No, 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 no. I want to go back down there because uh, there was all these districts, and I only went to, like, what, the Water Melt District or some shit? Where the fuck was the entrance again? Right here. Gamer moment. <laughs> Found the entrance. Let's go. Wow, 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 wow. This is such a cool, like, elevator. Like, I, I, like, I love the way it twists and turns like that. It's beautiful. Simply beautiful. I'm going to learn out of- or learn. I'm going to run out of, um, fuel. Haha. <laughs> Shit. Uh, let's check out the other districts here. What was in here, actually? Did we go here? What the fuck? Is this a floor? It is. It sure is. Black hole forge controls. Ooh, wow. The fuck? Whoa, 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 dude. What is that? What is that? What bloody hell? I gotta like go back up. And quick. <laughs> Before the sun explodes. Did I go up here? Well, doesn't matter because there's nothing up here. Ah, fuck. Here we go. <laughs> I really thought I could make it up there. Okay, where where do I go inside this forge? 
Hmm. Maybe if I go back up like where I where I was. Oh, don't fall. No, I'm not sure though, cause like I feel like I'm going further away from it. We'll see. Hold on. There was a hole though where like the waterfall was shooting down. What if I go down there? The fuck is this? Is that leading straight into the <laughs> into the black hole? Maybe, maybe don't do that then. <laughs> maybe don't jump into a black hole. Black hole is friend. <laughs> well, I've already been in there, and uh, that shit was terrifying. Black hole, not friend. Don't like. It take. No take. Uh uh. Can't take. Alright. What's up here? This is. What place? Where's the little map that they had? Well, not over here at least. Whoa, there it is. Oh, maybe we can go in from here. Mayhaps. Uh. Yeah! Uh oh. <laughs> Don't say that. Not now. You. Fuel level critical. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh oh. Uh oh. No. No, not now. No, not yet. No, no, no. I'm not ready. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I'm going to read this. Oh, no, I don't have time. I know you're good believers today is the channel never be that the other universe the source of the sigma wishes to harm us, but it's uh, but it may not want to be found either. The terrible ah! <laughs> face gone. You know that scene from the Terminator 2, I think. That's what just happened there. I'm like grabbing onto the wall and just <laughs> fucking skeleton. <laughs> I am dead. Not even that. I would just be gone. I would just be dust. I think if a, if a supernova kills me, <laughs> there would be no t chance for my skeleton to be exposed. Ooh. God. Hello. Oh, look at that. Cool little probe thing. See ya. Hello. Oh. Somebody was shooting a little uh, camera down here. Wow. We gotta get back there. Wee. Where are you? There you are. There is friend. <laughs> Alright. I didn't know I could do that. I don't think I've ever tried clicking that button. <laughs> Headlights. Headlights on. I meet another spaceship and they're like blinking me like, Turn your fucking headlights off, man! Are you trying to fucking blind me over here? Here we are. Alright, just match velocity here. Uh, I'm so bad at like turning my damn ship. I wanna see, what, what was this again? I did go in here, right? Oh, I did! This was like when I exploded that one time. Hold on, I'm gonna go in here right now. Even though I still have more to check at that other school place. I don't think there's like a lot to check out over here. There was just like some kind of uh, spaceship that was launched and I can warp back. So I wanna do that again. No, I wanna go down. I don't want uppies, I want downies. I want brownies. Boop. Southern Observatory. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get this ship back to the station. Wop. 
There it is. I want to look at that. Wee! I can make it. I can make it. Woohoo! <laughs> Risky. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Solonim, I'm here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I'll make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. Just that it, this is true. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. Oh, shit. I tried landing there earlier, and it didn't work. So I guess I just <laughs> didn't know that. I didn't know you could land on the... Oh, fuck, where am I going? What the fuck did I just do? Oh, I think it just teleported back, thank God. That scared me. What is this doing? Okay, so... Little fidget toy. Let's go! So am I just like, in orbit now, I guess? Nope. Oh. We go. <laughs> oh, there it is. Is it gonna let me land there? I took a picture of it, so it shouldn't go anywhere. <laughs> it's teleporting me into the sun. I don't like that. Well, or it's not teleporting me. It's flying. It's. It's making me fly into the sun, I don't like that. How do I activate this thing? Hmm. I don't know. Alright. What happens if I do this while the ship is there? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> See ya. Darn tootin'. Oh, that is loud, actually. Turn that off. Turn that shit off. <laughs> Thank you. Dum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba ba bum. Shum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum. The crossroads. What is the crossroads actually? We haven't been there. Or have we? Hmm. I'm not so sure about that. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. I'm just a little old lady, and I haven't traveled much. Oh. Oh uh, shit, I think I may have uh, pooped in my pants. Ah, uh, fuck. We have been here, right? Maybe. Hey, woo Jesus Christ. Shit's fucking blowing up, man. I don't really like that. One bit. What is over this way? What is all this? What is that? What is that over there? <laughs> oh? What is this? Ooh okay, okay. Wee! Okay, this is pulling up. I want to go down. Oh. That looks like it's gonna put me right in the black hole, but it's not okay. We're good. Wait, Banjo? I'm gonna head out. I'll talk to you later. Have a fantastic stream. Thank you for so much for joining, Peaches. Have a good one. Gravity cannon east 400 meters? Hmm. Banjo boy, I hear you. Where are you? All right, uh, let's try and find him. He's below. He's somewhere down there. I can find him. What up? <laughs> Woohoo! Hey, read back. Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been here out a while, huh? I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Burl Hollow, but you probably knew that. 
lot of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species ever existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you probably heard the other, uh, heard the other say, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody, than uh, more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. I tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck. I landed somewhere. My little scout says it's half halfway stable, instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gouging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surfi surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be, yeah. I learned something. Oh, cool. Uh, what is it? I found the Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow, so then the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. Solar system. And they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. Where should I explore here? Oh, wow. Where shouldn't you explore here? Um, Not the black hole, actually. That's, that's where I know. Which is unfortunate, because um, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's uh, that's just to the north, you can kind of see it from here. There's also a big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai sources here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. I think I might know where. Good luck with exploring. Um, If you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it, if it's not too much trouble. What are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or, um, the archaeologist, I guess. Seeing as I'm all Timberhead Scott right now. Pearl Hollow is rich with Nomai history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about the Pearl Hollow Nomai, I'm your Herthian. Or, um, I have some knowledge of them. I mean, so... Maybe I can help? Sweet letter. Keep playing. Why am I... Whoa! I'm not able to take my helmet off in here to eat a marshmallow. <laughs> take the risk. Fucking die. I think it's because there's trees around. That's probably why. Yum. Uh, Alright. Thanks for being back. Uh, talk to you later, I guess. Oh, lord. Yeah, I don't want that. Unidentified signal nearby. That's probably Zubek playing his playing his banjo. All right, what is this? The Tower of Quantum Knowledge West. Hmm. You just go there. Uh, sure. Actually, yeah, we'll just do that. See you, Zubek. Wee. Which way is it gonna take me? This way, I don't know if it matters. Nah, I don't think so. If it's any, anything like the the one on the on the deep planet, then it's gonna be full of like fun little puzzles. Can't wait. Bells, be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Okay. Um, shit's broken though. <laughs> Maybe I can make it in here. The Southern Observatory is south 550 meters. Entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge below 90 meters. Now I have to go in from there. Fuck. But it's all busted. It's all busted and broken. Gosh darn it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What's up here? Oh, wait. Is this just out to where Rebex like ship is? Trees detected. It would. It wouldn't, wouldn't, where? 
Fellas, we need to feed lies to Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, to send the steps to the entrance below you, knowledge will help within. Uh, knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's broken. Yep. Yeah. Wait. I can launch my scout in there, though. Surface integrity 43%. Oh my god. Uh, Plume, the trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander around freely. The entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I have never seen them move. Is that even possible? Plume, if anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Thatch, Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read... Uh, his notes. Thatch. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There's another. Uh, there's other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. Felix, that rock is unusual for another reason too. Thatch. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Felix. Hypothesis. This rock shard's presence is significant. We could study it. Could it be uh, what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Is that the rock? Sure is. And it just moved. Ooh. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Okay. Let's try and get in there, I guess. Even though it's broken, I might be able to like jump around. Get back. Um bum. I I also mm, have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to get through here because like the sun is probably gonna explode before before I can solve all the puzzles like last time maybe we'll see I can walk on these maybe I can continue walking on them nope Nope, that did not help me at all. Ow, I just hurt. That just hurt me, if anything. Fuck. Hmm. Oh my lord, this is gonna break my legs. Ow, shit. Alright. Well, this thing's like broken. Maybe I have to be like quicker? Maybe it breaks after a while? I don't- I'm not sure though. Is there like a thing where I can jump out? And up from here actually? Maybe? Cause I can like get out of this. So what if I jump out here? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not so sure that's gonna do anything for me. What the fuck? Hmm. <gasps> Scary. <laughs> Ooh, ah, just a little bit. Ooh, ah, a little bit more. Fuck, I don't think this is doing anything. Or like, this is nothing for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, how do I get in here? Bum 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 bottom 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 Hello Nope I actually didn't know I could do this Is that an entrance? <gasps> it is Maybe unless there's glass there in the way Right? Wrong? My scout's down there. <gasps> Hold on. 
Can I stand on this thing? Oh, I sure can. Oh uh, no, there's glass in the way. It seems. <gasps> Eesh. Oh my god, that fucking scared the fuck out of me. I don't want to fall down. Uh, isn't that glass? I can't tell. I don't know if there's like a platform for me to land on if I were to jump and check. That's glass! Oh no, I'm dead. I lived. How? I don't know. Alright, don't do that again. We'll go to um, that other place. The observatory or whatever it's called. Since we cannot go in here it seems. Not right now at least. Unfortunate. I'd love to. Maybe if I bring my spaceship down, I could fly up there. That is, if my spaceship fits anywhere inside. Oh, yeah, it could go down. It could probably get in here, maybe. Wing. Fuck is this? It's gonna, like, launch me? Oh, my God. Um. Neat. Can I take this? Alright. Uh, Damn. Is this like to anywhere? Where am I going? <laughs> Eesh. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Surface integrity 0%. Oh fuck. The whole tower just fell down. Well shit. <laughs> um. Well. What if I jump into the black hole, though? Would it be over here? No. I don't think it would. Well. We're gonna die of asphyxiation, probably. Whoa. No, 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 no. Stop yourself. My god. When will the sun explode? <laughs> wow, get in. What the fuck? Get in? Velocity matched, thank you. Come on. Come on. Open crack. I know there's trees in here. <gasps> Who? Dum 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 da dum ba dum. I'm definitely gonna like. The sun is either gonna explode soon, or I'm just gonna run out of fuel or break my leg because there's all that. I'm almost dead, and I have no clue where my ship is right now. <laughs> oh fuck. Like, I know that it's on. I know that it's on the Berlalo. I just don't know where I parked it. Oh! Wait, what? SMH spaceships? My spaceship apparently got taken away. I, It's not on here anymore. Spaceships, but goddesses concept, SMH, am I right? SMG. <laughs> Oh shit, my fucking, my entire, my mode of transport is gone. So I'm just, uh, stuck here now. Fuck. And my fuel's about to run out. 
though wasn't there like a structure somewhere with a fuel tank outside and it was what's his name feldspar or someone saying like hey guys here's my last bit of fuel you can have it <laughs> was it this building actually did i like run past it like a silly billy check this out boom oh got some fucking fuel let's go That is epic. Where can I go? I'm assuming the sun's about to explode soon. I'm also assuming that there's not much left of Brittle Hollow right now because this planet is just like slowly falling apart every day. Oh, look at that thing. Whatever that is, is gone. What is down there? Do you think I can make that without dying? I have very low health. <laughs> So I doubt it. Fuck. <laughs> Why did my ship teleport away, man? Fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. Oh. Oh! Ow! Vital's critical. Uh-oh. Sun exploded. What is this place? Oh, we're back over here. Okay. Well, the sun can't catch me if I'm in a black hole. See ya. I kill. I fucking broke my legs. <laughs> I killed myself. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> I was going for. Oh, whatever. Hold on, guys. Close your eyes. Well, that didn't fucking work. I gotta take my goddamn sweater off. It's too hot in here. So don't look. Don't look. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, don't look. Fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. Stop looking. All right. Boink. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hello. What's your name again? Mel Slate. Sorry. Fuck. 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 I'm an asshole. I'm just a bad friend. I'm a. I'm a dick. God, his name. I'm wrong. Bum 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 bum. Let's look at our computer. We got so much new stuff. The vessel. Mural panel one. Mural panel two. Mural panel three. Escape pod. Escape pod three. Dang City, Black Hole Forge, Anglerfish Fossil, Sol uh, Selenium Shuttle, Rebex Camp, Quantum Shard, Quantum Shard. <laughs> then I warped to this solar system in a spaceship called The Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the eye of the universe. The vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. Damn. One of the three know my escape pods never made it out of Dark Bramble. A mural of the three escape pods evacuating the Nomai vessel. Uh, a mural of Dark Bramble and snaring the Nomad vessel. Nomai, yeah. A mural of the Nomai vessel encountering a signal. So it encountered a signal on Dark Bramble, it seems, and now it's stuck there. Darn. Escape pod one. One of the three Nomai escape pods landed somewhere in the Hourglass Twins. The Nomai learns how to evade anglerfish, theoretically at least, by studying an anglerfish fossil they found on Ember Twin. Dang City. Oh, there's still more to explore there, of course. Uh, An Nomai City is suspended beneath Brittle Hollow's northern glacier. The city is divided vertically into four district districts. I found a switch in the meltwater district that raises and lowers the Black Hole Forge. The Nomai debated how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core uh, required for the Astrin project. There's more to explore here. So I gotta go back there. Black Hole Forge. The Black Hole Forge is suspended below the Hanging City. I found a switch in the Meltwater District that raises and lowers the forge. The Black Hole Forge District is the highest district in the Hanging City. They're high as fuck. I know my name Pogue planned to create a new advanced warp core in the Black Hole Forge. Okay, okay. What else is there? Quantum Moon. I know my name Solanum landed a shuttle on the Quantum Moon. A uh, Nomai named Solanum landed her shuttle at the Quantum Moon South Pole and prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. Visitors to the Quantum Moon always arrived at the South Pole for reasons unknown to the Nomai. 
Travel quantum knowledge. This tower located on Brittle Hollow's equator held useful knowledge for Nomai embarking on their first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. And Nomai noticed a strange rock shard that appeared to wander when no one was watching. Damn. What is this? Rebex says you can't get into the observatory from the surface. They tried, but there's probably a path uh, to it beneath the crest somewhere. Rebex camp. Rebex has set up a camp at the bottom of the crossroads. Their excitement of being surrounded by so much in Nomai history is matched only by their terror of the black hole. Rebex is Tim, uh, Timberheart's only archaeologist. They overcame their fear of space to explore Brittle Hollow's uh, treasure trove of Nomai culture. Very nice. Very, very nice. Well, well, well. Looks like we got some more exploring to do. On the um, Brittle Hollow, but we're not done there. Absolutely not. Bum 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 ba da bum 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 ba da ba da ba da ba da bum bum ba dum bum bum. There's the moon in question. The quantum one. We land on the south pole just fine. No, that's not what I wanted. How do I know if I'm on the south equator or not? crash into the sun now we want to go there oh wrong button Whee. Wahoo. <laughs> we're almost there what is that What's that like that we're landing on? Do we never actually go there? Oh wait, no, that's where they that's where the trees and the rock and everything are that like kept moving and they were so surprised. Yeah, that's what that is. They were like, what? Okay, we know that there's an entrance to the um the hanging city from inside the lake here that we can look for or inside the little um, waterfall Wait, where is it oh was it not on this equator i think i might be on the wrong side of the planet here's this where's the other pole there's a north and a south pole and it's on this one right yeah here's the water it's like down here somewhere. Alright. Shoot up. Shoot up and shut up. It may also be on the other side, actually. <laughs> like over, all the way over there. Yeah, and I think it is. There it is. All right, we're gonna explore the rest of the hanging city. Let's go. And we're also gonna try and find out what's inside the black hole forge. We haven't gone in there. So we can go, what was it in here? Yeah. Here's the controls. Race that shit up. Yoink. There it goes. There she blows.
ba, bum, ba. All right, let's go to the next floor, though. We didn't really explore this that much, did we? What was over here? Mm, actually, did we see this? Oh, I feel like it did go in here. What is this? Cause so I imagine I've been hard on Poke. Again, this is turn means I've made things difficult for his sister Clary. If Poke and I are oil and water, Clary is our emulsifier. What does that mean, you nerd? She certainly makes us a better team than would uh, than would mixing through shaking. Although sometimes I would like to shake Poke. <laughs> Cause I jokes aside. Oh she was fucking grab her and Jokes aside, suppose my own fear of never finding the eye prompted by uh, my argument with Poke, that would be immature of me. I should apologize at least to Clary, who could then tell Poke. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, mm, yeah, you could do, yeah, you could, yeah, yeah, you could do that, yeah. Woo! Uh, I don't really know where the fuck I, I have and haven't been. It's hard to like tell. A lot of this looks very similar. So bear with me here. Wait, there's a bear with me? Holy fuck! Good joke, right? Alright, uh... Okay, we weren't down here. We weren't able to read all this. We read like one issue of this newspaper. Be welcomed in this place. The shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this, the source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest, we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. What is the eye of the universe? Suppose the eye is a more advanced being. The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. The eye is older than this universe, so imagine how much, much it could teach us. Perhaps it is cos it's a cosmic library. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose it is a relic from a previous universe. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. Ooh. Where's the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't know yet. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. Of note, from the signal, we were able to determine the eye's approximate age, or perhaps its lack of age. The signal is a call. Were we the intended audience? <gasps> Ooh. This is so interesting. This is so interesting, I can hardly contain myself. I think I might just shit and piss. Fog. Where was the text that I was reading from Solanum? Here it is. I no longer believe, as I did as a child on Ember Twin, that the Eye of the Universe, the source of the signal, wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found either. The terrible circumstances of our arrival here were uh, almost certainly exactly that. Circumstance. So on. I expect imagining we are special to the eye in some ways wishful thinking. The eye might have called out to any sentient species, or it might not have been calling out at all. And that my ancestors heard the eye signals holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't be so bad, I think. In fact, the eye might not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. Ooh. Going against the fucking you know, against the norm, you know, everyone's like, oh, yeah, the eye. And then this guy's like, no, fuck you. There's no such thing. Any, like, notes up there? No. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. I think that's all for this floor, in quotation marks, so we can go up. This shit's broken, so we should go through here. La, la, la. Oh, wait, they're both broken. <gasps> oh, please fucking don't fall down and die. Uh... Oh, 
No, uh, oh, E. E. I like this one bit. <gasps> Legs almost broke. Uh, wait, how the fuck do I get up then? Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Okay, I have, I have one theory as to how to get up there. Don't know if it's gonna work. But I will try. And that is, what if I pod? What if I pad, I pod, I peed, I paid? Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, Jesus Christ, no! Well then, oh my lord! Well, that's cool. Yeah, this whole, this whole planet's just getting destroyed. Hey, Soljis, what's up? Face palming? Alright, my theory as to how to get in there is perhaps... No, wait, I'm on the right floor, right? Yeah. Perhaps I hitch a ride with the black hole mine thing. So, I put this down and then I pull it back up and I gotta like run and try and jump on top of it. I don't know if that's gonna work. I feel like it's not, but again, I'm gonna try it. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Oh, fuck. Nope. Well, that didn't work. Well, we at least tried it. We gotta go back inside the, uh, the ship then. This one. That's what I'm looking for. Am I going towards it or all? I'm not. Just chilling for a minute or two before I try to sleep. He was going up, so I think I'm a bit <laughs> right now. Damn. Damn, straight. Wow, 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 wow. Here we go. More oxygen, and then we get more fuel once we're off this. Off this little, little spaceship. I'm gonna put that marble in my mouth. All right. Oh, here we go. Quicker if we do that way. Because it's just about to warp us. And three, two, one. See ya. That is such a cool effect. I like that a lot. Oh. Oh, dude, out of oxygen. Not anymore. The fuck was that shit? Alright, I can't really go down there. I wonder hmm, what is down there? How do I get down there? How do I get down there? Hmm? There's my ship. Um So I wasn't able to get inside of the tower. But what if the ship can take me there? Is what I'm wondering. So if I fly inside somewhere that's broken right now, like right here, then maybe I can go inside the tower? Uh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Get up. 
Can I not fly in here? Oh, well, I'm just getting sucked into the black hole. Wait. Haha. -ha. Missed me. Is the tower gone, maybe? It might be just gone now. So I feel like I would see it if it's still here. Oh, this whole fucking thing's just exploding. No, wait. Here it is. I do see it. My ship's not gonna fit in there, is it? No, it's not. Wait. No, it's not. How the fuck do I do this, lad? Get in. Fly up. Resist the urge to get sucked into a black hole. Boink. Alright, you can take my spaceship now, I don't care. Uh, how do I get up here? I really gotta figure this out. What if we just like fall down? Is that about to happen right now? <laughs> I don't want that. Okay. Let's try to get back to the observatory then. Hmm. The observatory is this way, right? To the southern observatory. We shall look for that. Yes, and thank you. Though I feel like it may be gone. I'm not sure. Maybe this is it. I feel like I didn't really explore this well enough last time. Uh, yeah, I had to like jump across these chasms, fog, whoa. These great big chasms I gotta go over. And it is quite spooky, quite scary. Oh, there goes the tower. How the fuck? Oh, no, I'm not gonna make it. Fuck, dude. Well. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm just circling the black hole. You're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me. <laughs> You're not gonna fucking get me. You jerk. Hold on. Hold on. Don't get me. Where's that thing? Where's that like little pad? There. Land in that. That'll suck me back up, right? Haha! -ha! Screw you! Woo! What up? I don't know where this puts me. Shit's just breaking apart. Um, Rebecca, I don't know what the fuck's going on, man. I'm gonna hurry. Can I ask you something? Uh, sure, of course. Anything you want. I learned something. Uh, I saw the Hanging City on Brittle Hollow. You visited the Hanging City? Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is the where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement there. Why did, why did they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to, uh, you know, what? It's beyond me. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to a Nomai, though. Maybe they needed the Black Hole for something. Uh... I saw the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? Hard to believe the settlement is still standing, but there it is. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere the, uh, like Timber Hearth. You know, somewhere that isn't being constantly bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Thanks, Rebecca. All right, time to doze off. How long until the sun explodes? Right now, I suppose. Where is it? Where's the sun? Oh, there it is. Oh, I can't see it explode, but it's gonna be supernova soon. Right? Like how like there's nothing left of this planet. Once the time is out, I guess. Does this part fall down by the way? Does Reba get sucked into the the black hole right at the end? I wonder. Hey Reba. Hi, what's up? I don't have anything to say. I'm sorry. Look at that song. Here we go. And... Oof. Damn. Check that out. We're gonna fucking die, Rebeck! Man. Beautiful. <laughs> no, my poor banjo, bro. Look at all these memories. Oh boy. Oh boy. <sighs> Alright. Wait, <laughs> there's the moon. The quantum. The quantum boon. The quantum spoon. Whoa. Let's look at what the map has to say this time. Ah, uh, gotta swing. No, my travel to the solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself. They named the source of this signal the Eye of the Universe. Yes. Did I find everything to find in the Hanging City? I think so. Fantastic. Or no, that can't be though, because I haven't. Or well, maybe that's its own thing. The the, the black hole for it. Yeah, it is. Okay. I haven't found anything about that. I haven't been able to make it in there. I've also not been able to make it inside the um, uh, the observatory. I'm gonna go for one little exploration tour there, see if I can find out anything about either the observatory or the um, uh, quantum tower thing. Thing of a bob. How do I even get in there again? I don't fucking remember. I don't forking remember. Bop, bop, bop. Oh wait, hold on. Where's the... Where's the thing again? I do remember. Yeah, if I go in here, I'm right above the... Um, the quantum tower. Wait. Oh! <gasps> Oh, if I go on top of that rock, what the fuck am I flying like this for? <laughs> if I go on top of that rock right there, I can, um... 
I can read some new new lore. Let's take a picture of it when we can. We can right now. Alright, it's going to move somewhere. There it is. It might need to be closer, I'm not sure. Nah, this is fine. So I have not read this. Plume, Felix, or oh, Thatch. Plume, Felix and I have determined this a typical shard of rock is the recent objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Felix of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, uh, our friend the wandering moon sounds the same. Felix, I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from the Iron's deep timber hearth and the hourglass twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Thatch, the only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and uh, this groves are related. Plume, in a note from earlier, Felix mentioned the strange type of, type of rock isn't around or found elsewhere on the Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Plume, hypothesis, this quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Oh, maybe. Now that's a cool little hypothesis. What if these shards flying everywhere are part of the bloody moon? Bum, 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 ba, da, da, da. We're going to go down here. Let's see. Is the tower in here, like, is it intact? If you go in here very quickly, no, it's not. How the fuck do I get in here then? I don't get this. I need to get in here somehow. Southern Observatory is this way. Let's try and get there at least before everything breaks. So that over there. So what is this thing doing? Where does this shoot me? Oh well, that's just great. Wait, is that the tower? Oh, oh it might be. This might be the way to get in there. So you land on this. Fuck. That was not it at all. Let's go back. Ba -da 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 -da. Hmm. Nope. Oi! What is even over here? I wonder. I guess nothing. <laughs> nothing of note. What the fuck? Did I just get hit by a fucking rock? Are you kidding me? Uh, why? God damn it. Well, fuck. <laughs> no, I need to fucking be in there. I'm going to lose so much time now. Shit's already breaking apart. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find anything new out about the that place. Woohoo! It's fun fast enough. I can make it before I warp about out. Wow. Boom. Uh, keep going on the wrong side. It's this way. 
That's where the waterfall is. I'm pretty sure. Actually, was it the other way? Ah, shit. It was. Oh, poopy. Skipping on the water. Skipping on the water. This is where that takes me. Okay, cool. My health though. <laughs> My poor health. Okay, so how the fuck I don't I don't get it. How do you get in up there? And how do you get in the observatory? Because I just cannot figure that out. How do you get in the tower also? Like several places in this that I'm just like I'm stumped about. I have no clue how to get in there. Hmm. Oh, wow. Well. Looks like this, both towers up here are broken. And so I can't get in. There is a warp thing up there, actually. I just realized. But how do I get in there? How do I warp there? I need the other half of that. <gasps> Wait. What planet is it looking at? Because <gasps> if it's looking at like a specific planet at any point, then there might be, you know, some planet that like aligns with it that teleports me here. Which planet would that be? Oh, I wanna spin this way. No, please don't take me away. Oh no, I'm not going the right way at all. Here we go. Whoop, see ya. I'm just back at Rebecca's place. Um, how can I kill myself real quick? Jump into the fire. Hmm, that hurts. Imagine being right back right now. Jesus Christ! The new astronaut just fucking burned himself alive in front of me. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Alright, I don't know if I learned anything new that fucking life. Just cause I, I keep I keep going back to the same you're going to, back to the same isle, uh, not islands, uh, the same planet, but I might not know how to do what I need to do on that planet yet because I need to go to the, the other planets. Is there anything new that I figured out? Oh, I did find something out about the quantum like stuff. Quantum signal, the nomad detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere in the hourglass twins and also from somewhere on timber hearth. Strange rock shard the wanders when no one is watching. The Nomai determined the shard is the recent objects in the grove behave in a quantum manner. The Nomai hypothesized that this shard is actually a piece of the quantum moon. The shard emits a s the same signal as the moon. I am... Uh... Alright. Okay. There's that thing. A little seed that planted itself on our planet. 
Is there anything inside these that I can f go to? No, I don't think so. All right. What I want to do now is, I don't know. I kind of want to try out one more thing on that planet. Because I had, I have a little idea. I don't know if it works or not, but the little spaceship that I can go into that like was supposedly used to land on the quantum moon. I almost got it by a fucking meteor there. Apparently that spaceship uh, is like kind of lined up with the deep hollow and I'm thinking what if the ship can go inside of uh or not the deep hollow what's it called wait i haven't been here what the fuck is this there's a new place uh oh definitely some ghost matter here hold on let's land like up here it's not burn burn to death this might be like the first place that rebeck went to or something i wonder Is this the only place with ghost matter? Or is it like all the houses? So far that seems to be the only one. Oh, there's a little camp, cozy little campfire I can light. The journey here from the South Pole has been, um, I'm going to go with harrowing because of the, um, all the meteors. But hey, at least I made it to the, uh, here on Conquest and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little. And there's some sort of old nomad path that starts across from my campsite inside the ruined building with, with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible. Just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. Should I get my supplies together? I'll follow the path and see where it leads. Okay. Everyone in this game just loves marshmallows. That is just a fact. No cap there. No scribbling in this building, it seems. Nobody's written anything on the walls. No. What about this building? Wait. Damn, I got some of the purple crystals in here. Whoa. Oh, hey, this is the path that she was talking about. Okay. All right. I will go in here in just a second. I want to look at some of the other houses, see if there's any other information I can learn. Like, for instance, why is there a bunch of ghost matter in here? Oh, it's just because of the crystals, I guess. There's no, no info here. No little note or anything. Oh, oh. And in these buildings, no. All right, then we shall go. Now. Dum dum dum. Da 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 da. -da. And I'm just going like where I've always been going. I know Rebex down here. Yeah, I can hear him right now. Gravity Crystal Workshop above 140? Oh, that's what that was. That's what we just found, I guess. What is this? Uh, well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. Guess that's the part to focus on and not how I'll eventually get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. It looks like the Hanging City is north from here. And he's this gravity, uh, it's a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm, defect, uh, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good, since I uh, used a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head farther down low so I can refill my tank. Maybe this tells me how to get inside the thing. So this is the 
the tower with like the thing. That's the the shuttle. These two apparently lead to observatory, which I still haven't been able to get inside of. The hanging city in North 250. I think this like breaks as soon as I get on here, so I don't really want to go on this bridge. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so from from this tower, I should be able to get to the observatory somehow, but like, how the fuck? I haven't been able to find it. Should be this way. Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, wait. There's something there that I haven't seen before. This thing. Ow. That hurt just a little bit. Oh, wait. New stuff. New, 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 new stuff. Maybe. Wait. The fuck is over here? Hmm. How do you- how does one get into the observatory? I'm so confused. Mm -hmm. I'm dreaming of an observatory where I can use the lavatory and I'll shit in the toilet and I will poop in the toilet. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Yeesh. Don't be so fucking... Don't be so pessimistic all the time. Yeesh. You know? Yeesh. This has to be it. Wasn't I here earlier though? Did I just, like, not go in here? Uh-oh. Fuck. Uh... It's all over that wall, but I can go over here. So I'm just gonna... Wee. Finally, I'm making it to the observatory, I think. Oh! Definitely something new in here, at least. down so I'm just gonna keep looking up Yew! wow ow owie oh here we are freaking freaking finally man boom we have made it 
into the observatory. Oh, I've seen this. This is the observatory? All right. Giant steep projection stone. Just them figuring out how to get inside the thing. Conoid. No, uh, Castle. Conoid, Das, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and once almost sank down beneath the current. We already read this. Conoid, you should have seen it. We think it was impossible for cannon components to sink even partially below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already, already got this news. And, yep, yeah, I've seen this before. So, cool. Something new. Or, uh, not new, but like, we're in a new place. Uh, what is this? Alright, so, they have recreated the cyclones, it seems. Uh, Conoy, Kasava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant Steep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spy and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update. It's now clear that there are two different types of cyclones. Most cyclones on Giant Steep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Kasava typically use to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the water and below the current. What? Kasava, my gratitude spire. Kano is showing me your handiwork and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? Spire, the model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant Steep. Spire, I also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now we know. That's the one that pushes you up. Well, the other one should suck you down. Whoa. Darn Tootin, that's very good to know. Finally, we know how to get in the thing. Uh, cool. Here's the door we're on the other side of now. We can open that, and I think it should stay open on subsequent, like, memories. Like, when I come back, that's open now. If the sun were to explode, I wouldn't have to go this same annoying ass route. All right, let's see. Twins. Whoa. Nice. Look at that. Okay, let me see what this is. Uh, what do we, oh, Conway, what have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Malog. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around the star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Plume. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. Privet. The locator we built on the Adel Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Avens. Hypothesis. The eye has stopped emitting its signal. Kasava. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Plume, Kasava, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to this star system. Kasava, I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye story. Yeah, we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Oof. Harsh. Uh oh. Wait, there's another bit of the text over here. Kano, how should our methods change as we continue to our search for the eye of the universe? Mallow, we know that the eye looks well, we know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we tried to find the eye visually instead? Let's find our probe. Avens, we need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Kasava Giant Steve would be a good choice. It's the furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless except when the quantum moon is visiting. Uh, Avens, yes, let's build the quant uh, the cannon in orbit around Giant Steep. Private, as we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for the exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method. Castle yeah, so Malo's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Connor, I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Rami and Pi about the technology they're developing? Damn, okay. So, Cassava is still very hesitant he does not believe that this technology or this eye is real but everyone else is very much keen on finding it because i mean they've been trying for so long this is the hearth timber hearth and the Adel rock ring around him 
here is the one I'm on. Uh, and also the volcanic moon orbiting around it. It's called Brittle, Brittle Rock, Brittle Hollow. This one's the deep, the, the deep brittle. Oh no, what? Fuck, I keep forgetting all the names of them, but this is the, the deep one with the quantum moon. No, oh, wait. This is the brittle one. Uh, this one. No, wait, this has to be the brittle one then. Oh, this is the Bramble. This is the tree planet. Cool. And then this one is the eye. You don't even know what the eye looks like. Error unable to de determine orbit. No signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. Wait, hold on. Did all of these have like a text? I don't actually check. No. I don't think so. All right, well, we finally found a way to go into the, the water. Finally know how to get in there. So let me try and get back to my ship. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do that. Pretty far away. Let us try and get into the deep. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit, I did not know that was broken. Uh, maybe I should be more careful. I also don't want to waste my fuel because I'm not very close right now. Or, well, I am pretty close. But I just want to get a bit closer. I only use it for absolute emergencies. This is an emergency, go. Go. Wow. Let's see here. Tornado simulation, Southern Observatory. Finally, we got in. Beyondry, most cyclones and giant deep rotate clockwise. These are the uh, there, these are the cyclones that Noma used to send components into orbit. There also exists a rare type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the water and below the current. A new, more sensitive locator that Noma built in this observatory was enabled to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Uh, based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Noma believed the eye was an in, in a distant orbit around the sun. The Noma decided to stop searching for the eye signal and instead look for, its visual, look for it visually by sending out a deep space probe. There were concerns that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Damn. Nothing else that's new. It doesn't look like it. All right, let's go to the, the thing. All right, hold on. There. Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Where is it? There you are. And your moon. Gone. Alright. Giant's deep, that's what it's called. Thank god for the <laughs> autopilot, man. I'm so bad at flying in this. I would be an awful astronaut, my god. I, like I would fucking, I would just like crash or something. I don't know, I, I would not do very well. to try and find a cyclone that's spinning in the direction that we need. Not that one. Which was it again?
Is this one spinning in the right way? Nope. Fucking hell, man. Oh, this one. Ship log updated. Oh my god. I am inside the deep. And it is electric. My god. Is my ship just gonna get destroyed if I go in here? Look at this guy. Hello. Hello. Should I just... Should I just go in? Heesh! Uh oh. Oh no. Electrical systems damaged. Oh yeesh. Um. Oh. <laughs> it just bounces right off. Okay. How the fuck did they get in there? If at all. No. Fuck. What? Where is this that needs to be fixed? Um, oh, fuck me. Jesus Christ. Well, I couldn't find what I needed to fix, and my ship exploded. All right, we'll go check that out later, then. Because I don't even know what. I, I thought I could just go in, but there's an electrical layer that I can't go through. We'll figure that out in the, the next time I stream this, because I got to go now. <laughs> At least we found out how to get through the... um through the, uh, water layer. <gasps> That's fantastic. Oh my god. What the fuck, lag? Uh, anything new I can say? The sun is going to supernova, by the way. Oh yeah, the observatory, the observatory has an exhibit about that. Between you and me, I glossed over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more hard for us to main. Me, I'm here for the rocket science and the marshmallows. <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, I gotta go. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching today's stream. Have a good one. <gasps> mm -hmm. Caught it. You don't get that shit. <laughs> Fucking see ya.